It was a violent weekend in the Elm City as New Haven marked their 30th homicide of the year. There were four shootings yesterday. One person's dead, three others are hurt. News 8's Aaron Cox live outside the New Haven Police Department with more on this violent weekend. Good morning, Aaron. Hey, good morning, Chris. It was a rough Sunday. There were four shootings, three of them actually happened on the same street. Detectives are telling us that two of the incidents are connected, but they were supposed to start the week here at the NHPD in preparation for the new chief. And now they're spending it in investigation, especially the city's 30th homicide. 29 year old Andre Kelly was found shot and killed inside his apartment on Whaley Avenue. You know, his family members tell News 8 he was shot a month ago. He survived that. He recovered, only to be found dead. There's been no arrest yet in connection with his killing. Whenever someone um, uh, dies tragically and before their time like this, it's always a sad event. Um, I, I feel that this is the, an opportunity for families and a community to come together to have serious dialogue on how we can uh, make our community a safer place. I think uh, community-based policing is one way we can uh, do that. Uh, we want to see cops out on the streets engaging, uh, engaging a constituency uh, so, so folks don't feel it's, 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 it's an occupancy but more of a, more of a partnership. The three other shootings all occurring on Shelton Avenue. The first, a 17-year-old shot in the leg, but he was able to actually walk himself into the ER at Yellowhaven Hospital. The second shooting, a little while later, the guy was behind the wheel of his car when he was hit by a bullet. In fact, he was still driving when the cops caught up with him. And in the fourth shooting on Sunday, person reports being grazed by a bullet. That victim also able to walk themselves into the ER at St. Rayfield's Hospital. No arrests in connection with any of these shootings occurring on Sunday. Now on Wednesday, the new police chief, Dean Esserman, is going to be sworn into office. But with these four shootings occurring, including a 30th homicide, not likely to be much of a honeymoon period. He is going to have to hit the ground running. We're live this morning outside the NHPD. I'm Erin Cox, News 8.